Hello, it's Martin from Remote Control Bits. Just really wanted to go through, for those of you that are new to the remote control world, um, through some electronics, um, really showing you the parts, how they roughly connect together, what they do, and then to go through setting your servo uh, to the neutral position, which you'll need to do um, when building the kits yourself or installing your own servos or new servos. Okay, first of all, this is a transmitter, it's a wheel style one that, that I'm using and it's a 2.4 gigahertz. Um, so no crystals, you may have seen um, some receivers and transmitters have crystals in and if you had people with the same crystal, um, there would be some interference. So this reduces the interference. You'll also note on the receiver, which is this part, often known as the RX, this would be called the TX. It's got a much smaller aerial um, than you'd see before and even the uh, transmitter's got a small aerial. The only thing to note with the transmitter is when you're using it, this aerial needs to point upward um, for best uh, best connection. Okay, other part that's here, this is um, referred to as electronic speed controller. You'll hear everybody talk about the ESC. Um, and that really controls both the throttle um, for the motor, which is this control here, and the steering through the servo. That's the servo, and this is how the steering is then controlled. This, I'm showing a battery which is just a metal hydride um, pack, uh, a 6 cell, um, but you could use LiPo and there are many others available. And I'm just at the, at the moment using Tamiya connections, but there are many, many more Traxxas which are much better, uh, Deans. Now you'll see I've already connected um, the electronic speed controller to the receiver, and they're on small 3-pin plugs. Uh, interestingly, this ACOMS um, system that I'm using has a small lug on these connectors and I just need to remove that lug just with a craft knife take that section off and um, for it to fit in but at that point you need to be very careful then that the orientation um, of the coloured wires is the same there's three coloured wires on the, the servers that I'm using um, a red a black and a white um, red and black being positive and negative and the white then being a signal wire um, so you can't interchange those if you want the server to reverse you need a much more um, capable electronic speed controller. And now I've gone ahead and finished connecting up um, my servo into the receiver and then I've connected my battery to the electronic speed controller. You'll notice that there is no motor at this point. Um, when we set the um, uh, servo up we don't want the motor um, to be running. Okay, the most important thing here really is connecting the receiver. Um, I'm not going to show you how to bind the receiver uh, to the to the transmitter at this point and um, just purely show you setting this servo. You need to make sure first of all we're going to turn um, the transmitter on and you see there'll be a light and the light then will go out and then what we're going to do is turn on the speed controller that'll then get the receiver to look for the transmitter and also set the servo um, to the neutral position. What I'll do is I'll just zoom in as I turn on the electronic speed controller and that'll look, you can see then the servo going to neutral. So the transmitter's on, and here we go, turn on the electron speed controller, and if you just watch this spindle, you'll see it'll move. There we go. So that's now set the neutral point, and if I turn the wheel on the transmitter, you'll see the servo will then move as well. Now when it comes to turning off um, your electronics, it's very important to turn off the switch on the electronic speed controller, the ESC, first and then turn off your transmitter. Okay, that's a brief um, description of some of the components um, but the real priority was to show you how to set your servo to neutral position and ready for installing in your kit. Please subscribe and um, check out our other videos. Hopefully um, you find them useful in, during your builds um, and see you soon. Thanks for watching.